Okay, I <clears throat> figured I'd show my desk in kind of its semi-final form. Um, my office is an absolute mess because I just cleaned my whole other desk out to swap to this one. Um, so it sits on these two posts and then this platform that's kind of above the ground here. Um, <clears throat> the main structure is these two boxes. The center one is affixed to the platform and then this one slides up and down. Uh, it slides on these drawer slides here on both sides, obviously. Uh, <clears throat> this this is a piece of Delrin rod, which is a hard plastic polymer of some sort that's good for bearing surfaces. Um, this is a piece of parachute cord that has something like 600 pound test or somewhere around there. Um, and then going through <clears throat> kind of the stuff at the bottom here, what makes it go. <laughs> um, here's another piece of Delrin. Uh, this is an, a linear actuator that I'm just actually, I'm not using it as a linear actuator, I'm just losing it, using it as, a, as a, an extended rod for the motor. Um, <clears throat> the parachute cord is attached to that down here, as you can see. Um, over here is a brake, and what that does is when the motor's off and electricity isn't being applied to it, that using a magnet, um, an electromagnet, just sits there. Uh, stops the motor from turning so that when you raise the desk and it, there's a bunch of weight on it, uh, it doesn't slide back down. So that stops it. That's why it's called a brake. Um, <clears throat> this is just some cable routing with some uh, elastic stuff just to keep that out of the way. Um, and here is the switch. So the switch is a double pull, double throw, uh, wired up like that because it has to run the brake on both has to turn turn the brake off uh, when when the motor is running, obviously. So <clears throat> here we go. I will. Let's see here. Sorry. Should have this camera mounted or something. Here we go. We're gonna go up. Okay. I'll stop it there. Um, there is a limit switch right there. It will engage. Here I'll show you it engaging. It's actually kind of a pain to get it undone, but it is engaging. I'm not going to do anything. It just stops. So that's so it you know doesn't overextend the uh, the drawer slides and break everything. So the way to get that to go down. See, I even I still have the switch up. It just stopped it. Um, so the way to get it to go down is we'll switch it down. Nothing happens because the whole circuit is actually um, disconnected, which was just bad wiring on my part. I could have done it in a different way. I uh, should have done it in a different way, but I didn't. So anyway, uh, to disengage the limit switch, I'll just put a little pressure on it, and then I'll drop it down. So you can see that the wiring kind of being pulled to the side. Yeah, that's it. So really, that's, uh, that's how it works. Um, <clears throat> I should put some sort of finish on it, but I just got kind of tired of working on it. Uh, that's the top for it. I had to put this piece of uh, OSB, I think that's called, on the bottom because uh, these IKEA uh, tops have reinforced corners where they intend that you put the legs, but the rest is just kind of hollow. So I found that out, um, and this is what the top of it looks like. So I'll, I'll do a little video of it with the top on and everything on there.